My name is Helen Turk. And I'm Mari Danica. And this is Voices from the Void. And uh, this is going to be the news. Uh, hopefully everyone here uh, knows this is, uh, what's the dates again? This is for the news ranging from Sunday, August 7th through Saturday, August 13th. Week 32, which none of you will know what that means, but whatever. Anyhow, um, well, first up, let's talk a little bit about the uh, the uh, Southern War. That's the biggest news story, I think. Um, Head GP's been hit a few times. Uh, there's a Titan down, and uh, we got the new, the last, I think, reinforcement timer is today. Yes, and I don't know if you want to talk about that Titan a little bit, but that's an interesting story. Guy logs off in a safe, and a, a master prober comes along, and then a dictor, and bye-bye Titan. Dun-dun-dun! You know, it's unfortunate. I think we can all say mistakes were made, but, you know... It's one of those small battles in the greater war. And how do you think the tides are going when it comes to uh, the, I forgot what they call, what Solar Legion of Red Noise and Friends against uh, AAA and company? Um, well, the thing is, is that uh, historically, um, the drone Russians have done pretty poorly. Um, they need a win, and they might get one in head GP finally when they take the system over, if they take the system over today, um, because they haven't succeeded very much so far. They took uh, Detourid back from some of the Pet Alliances, but uh, none of those guys were really fighting to keep them, so it was just pretty much push, push, push. It's just the same as we pushed in. No one really fought to keep it when we pushed in, and nobody really fought to keep it when they pushed back. Now that they've uh, they've reinforced 46 DP on three separate occasions and had their fleets thrown back into the Torrid, so um, hopefully they're looking for a change. They'll probably commit everything they have, and we'll probably commit everything we have, and we're going to get to see how things go. And that's true when it comes to the Sov warfare of it all. You know that stands true, but when you look at the individual battles, like the fleet fights, Solar Legion of Red Noise and Friends. I've, as far as I've seen, and as far as the battle reports I've gotten to, definitely have the upper hand with those super cap Artie Baden fleets with the, you know, yeah, individual two dozen guardians, and then a whole crap load of bombers. Yeah, on the individual battles, they win more often than not, but on the defense, you only have to win one out of four or five different battles in order to win. So as long as you hold your systems, it doesn't matter. They can't make any inroads. So what do you think is going to happen tonight? I think we'll have to see. Hmm. I guess we will. Uh, let's see. I guess we can move on to the north then. Okay. I guess the only real thing to note up here is that the wildly inappropriate space is now being absorbed uh, into other entities. And so you're starting to see less and less of that uh, phantom alliance space. Uh, <laughs> and another funny thing to know, Cobalt Edge. Uh, the goons keep going over to Cobalt Edge for IRC fights. And again, with the battle reports that I've seen and that I've pulled up, they're not doing so well. And I was actually at a at the Austin area meetup yesterday. And I started talking about one of the fights with a with a Goon Swarm FC. And I mentioned this particular fight that was in VY Tech 866. And I'm like, yeah, I don't know what happened. It looks like somebody started calling Drake's as primaries instead of calling the Canes. And, you know, all that extra, uh, all those extra hit points that they had to go through while they were, you know, eating on four Drake's, they just got wiped out. And he was like, oh, was that Tuesday? Yeah, that was my fleet. <laughs> Is there any kind of confirmation? I heard these are drunk fleets. that are just literally whole full drunk fleets that are just going to have fun. Yes, they are. They are for fun fleets. They are for fun uh, suicide fleets, basically. They take the, uh, the they take what they call paper canes, and so you know they're your fit them quick, destroy them quick, high DPS uh, canes that are going out just to have a good time and screw with IRC. I, I wouldn't necessarily call them drunk fleets. 
due to uh, age restrictions. <laughs> but yeah, they are not serious fleets. So there's there's that, and uh, Intergalactic Exports got kicked out of Veil. Vale. Yes, they did. Intergalactic Exports got kicked out of Veil, vale, and then uh, PL and Snigwaf broke up. There's been this little rash of corp drama going on, and there are some other instances of corp drama, but really no one cares, so it is what it is. Nobody cares about your shitty little corpse. See, I didn't say it like that. But, uh, oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> but what's the reason for the boot and veil? I don't, well, I'm looking at the map now. They still own the space. Um, apparently, they were told by somebody that they could take a system. They went to take the system, and then they were like, what the fuck are you taking the system for? And they're like, you told us we could take it. No, we didn't. Get the fuck out. That's why you get everything in writing. <laughs> That's all I can <laughs> say. Get so everything in a to, chat log. They're like, we talked to this fellow right here, this guy. And they talked to that guy. Like, no, I never talked to them. I don't know what they're talking about. Oh, okay. Someone got set up. Well, there's a lot of tinfoil hatting going on when it comes to the PL and Snigwaf breakup. Uh, I heard that uh, one of the leaders of PL and one of the leaders of Snigwaf got into a big argument. The leader of PL had a alt in a free cartoon and just did, disbanded everything. Uh, I've heard that the reasons were PL was displeased with the VFK performance of Snigwaf. Uh, I've heard that Snigwaf kind of got uppity... Uh, because PL was taking all of their good FCs and things of that nature, so there's there's a lot of stuff, you know, surrounding that. And who knows? I'm sure there's lots of good posting on Kugu and Coad to, <laughs> to to feed that little fire. Oh, let's see. Oh, and one other thing: the Russians have a really nice kill board. Have you seen like the little Russian Federation kill board? Mm-mm. It's actually pretty nice. They have this, um, the way that their battle reports come up is so neat and clean. I really appreciate, whoever did that coding, good job to you. Just one day. I might, I might get a chance to see myself on it uh, sometime before the end of the day, so. Well, good luck to you in head. <laughs> <laughs> good luck to you in head. Uh, that's all I can say. And I think shit's, that's it. Shit's about to get real. So, yes, yeah, someone's couch is definitely going to get f***. And um, I guess we cannot end the new segment without talking about Phaser Inc. <laughs> <laughs> Who did not know this was a scam? Please raise your hand. <laughs> if it you just have your hand raised. You, sir, are an idiot. And give me your <laughs> I've got, <laughs> I've got an, a, I've got an angel cartel titan I'd like to sell you. <laughs> Just, Jesus, what is wrong with these people? I mean, I saw that and I was like, man, that's a, that's a spammy scam. Why is he scam? Why is he spamming me in this system? This is Angita. That's the only thing I thought. I was like, wow, they're, they're branching out. <laughs> Scamming, not just for Angita anymore. Oh man, and, and 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 apparently a bunch of other people were like, "Whoa, this guy sounds legit." I mean, this is the this is the classic black street level van. But you have to, but you have to understand that a lot of people that did see this recognized it as a scam, but tried to scam the scam. There is a percentage of players who will just do that just to see if they can, and uh, I have it on good authority that even someone from PL got scammed, you know, but. Again, there, you know, it's hearsay and there is no proof, but... Yeah, that's that's what I would say if I got scammed out of 15 billion. I was just trying to scam them, see? I knew it was a scam, and I was just working the... Just leave me alone. <laughs> I don't want to talk about this anymore. <laughs> see, and it. this is the exact reason I stay out of ISEC. I just so was people spoiled. are crazy. Really? And then when I, I when I saw that it was n news, I was like, no, really? This was a thing people were really investing in? Because I'd saw it in local a couple times, and my memory, it stuck with me. And I was like, what? That was a scam. How did he get a trillion isk? And like, he got more than that. He got almost two trillion isk. The others were just what he had to pay out in the pyramid scheme. Oh, 
I'm sorry, it's not a pyramid scheme. It's a triangle-shaped uh, investment concept. <laughs> Is that what they're calling it these days? Good to know. <laughs> yes, yes. It's not a trying. It's not a pyramid scheme. You besmirch my good name, sir. It's a triangle investment concept. But I think that is going to do it for the news segment. If you have news or uh, tasty tidbits that you'd like to share with Helen and I, you can always contact us in game at Ari Danica or at Helen Space Turk. You can also contact us on Gmail at vnvpodcast at gmail.com. So that is it for the news. On to the Block Spotlight. <laughs>